This is so difficult and so painful, but it's something that I have to do. I have to tell you the truth. The truth? Luis, a lot has changed since you've been gone. It's time that I told you everything now. Well, I think I know what you're going to say. You do? Yeah. I've had my suspicions for a while now. And then James's babysitter spilling the beans about Chris's woman clinched it. I was afraid of that. I asked Chris about this woman in his life. And I said it was true. Chris told me how he fell in love with this woman after his wife died in the tsunami and how James grew to fall in love with this woman as well. And that's where your big announcement comes in. And, you know, it threw me at first that you wanted to talk to both of us about it, but then I thought about Chris's special situation and how close the two of you are, and it all made sense. My God, you really have figured it out. Yeah. Your announcement is about us being married and Chris. Luis, about us being married and Chris. I knew that something was up between the two of you. The looks, the whispering. And then when James's babysitter said that Chris had fallen in love with someone that I knew, narrowed things down a bit. I'm sure it did. Hmm. Truth is, there's only one woman it could be. Dottie. What? Yeah, the woman who ran Marty's DNA test, your friend from Boston. What? Sure. I'm a detective. I figure stuff out all the time. Chris met Dottie, fell in love with her. She's from a well-to-do family, so they probably wanted to have a big wedding, and he started talking to Chris, and now you want that, too. Luis, you got this all wrong. I'm not saying that you convinced Sharon to have a big wedding. I'm just saying you were talking to her about it, so she was thinking about it. And the truth that you've been talking to me about, that's us being married. And I know you're happy with that. It's just you want things to be the way that we originally planned them before things went haywire. Release about us being married. I want that too. But I don't want to wait too long, okay? Look, I really wish you would sit down so I could clarify things. I've been things. looking at the calendar. Luis, sit down and just listen to Sheridan. I think, I think the end of May is good. Thank you. May is a great time to get married. We can, we can have it outside if you want, Sheridan. We could even do it here. It's beautiful here that time of year. Luis. St. Margaret Mary's Church, then. Third time's a charm, right? Luis, Sheridan's trying to tell you something. Sheridan, if you're worried about money, don't. Okay? You can spend as much as you want. My days of worrying about us trying to live on my salary are over, okay? Life's too short to argue about money. We can invite both our families and Papa, you know, who he brings as anyone's guest. You can invite your society friends. And I'll have all my buddies from down in the force. And then uh, Chris, James, and Dottie. Luis. I'm going to call the church right now, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if they can reserve a time for Luis, us. Luis, don't. Why not? I, I know it's short notice, but... Sheridan, I'm sure that people clear their calendars for us. Please, it's not that. Well, what is it then? Damn it, Sheridan, just tell him. You don't speak to my wife that way, okay? 
Louise. I'm not your wife. You're not my wife? You're my, you're my significant other than you life partner. I'm not your wife because we weren't really married in Hawaii. It was all an act. Sharon, you can't be married to someone else. You love me. I love my husband, too. Your husband? That's what I've been trying to tell you. I'm married now, happily married to another man. Oh, this can't be. I can't believe it. Believe it, Luis. It's true. Who is it, Sheridan? Who are you married to? Chris is my husband. <laughs>